this Stuart engine's coming on quite well. It's not finished, but most of the big parts have been done. It's time to start putting some of the little bits and pieces on. I've got gland packing to put in there. I'm going to put the two little brass taps on there that my friend Bob kindly reconditioned for us. These are cylinder drain valves. You open the, open the valves when you initially start the engine and it lets any condensed water out. So he's made a beautiful job of reconditioning them. They're absolutely stunning. I'm going to find a nice fitting span out to fit there because I'll hate to damage the hex on that. Right, and actually quarter it with. You'd have to play around with cotter washers to get them in the in the right location. That's going to work out quite nicely, actually. There is some nice pipe work, and as a, a tree that goes down there. It's going to have to come to bits to be painted anyway, but I really want to put some steam through it before it, before it gets painted. Bastard. Right, so we need to play with that one because that needs to be up there, so I'll have to change the washer. I thought it was too good to be true getting the one right first time. Threads in there are very dry. Oil won't hurt anything. Should be all right there. Right on the other side, there's two different type valves. These are spring loaded pressure relief valves in case I forget to open these and you get water trapped above or below the piston it'll actually push that little ball of its seat and blow the water out without causing any damage like Ben and Conrad's or because that's the sort of thing that happens to them turn it round it's nice when you get some one or two fancy bits on well, not fancy bits, but more ornate pieces, I suppose you could call them. a real wool spanner snail brand made in England that's a proper key that
This is the steam control valve. There's a gate valve on there which that lets the steam in. So the idea is you have the steam going into there full bore that way up and in the engine is designed to run at a constant RPM. The governor assembly controls so a series of linkage onto that there and inside of here there'll be a spool valve so that floats around and that allows enough steam in to keep it at the specified RPM which I think is 2000. So it doesn't matter how much load you put on the engine if it's a small load on it gets less steam and as you load it up the governor starts to open up as it slows down and it gives it more and more steam until it sustains its operating RPM. I'm going to take this apart, have a look inside of it. There's a snap union in there, I've got to get that out. That's where the oil lubricating oil goes in there for the steam cylinder. So we need to have a look inside of here and see what horrors there might be. It seems to be nice and oily. This part obviously wasn't underwater and it's oily in there. And it also appears to be made out of bronze. That's free in there to move that way, but it doesn't go up and down. But there could be big springs in here. I'm just not sure what actually goes inside of there, so we'll have a look and see. Before I strip this, I'm going to put one or two little marks on so I know how it goes together. Just a little pop there, pop there. And it means there's no guesswork when it comes to putting it back together. Right, so we need to get that broken union out of there, which shouldn't be a massive problem. This is all, all bronze. Possibly polish it up, I'm not quite sure. I have to polish it up, I'll just leave it sort of the way it meant to look. Quite a good hold on there. A blunt chisel, see if that'll it's starting to move. What you don't want to do is hammer a, a screwdriver blade into there in case you damage the, the faces. Right, this looks interesting. Very interesting. Not quite sure what what moves here and what doesn't move. Take this bit off, just have a, a look in there. Come over there, you bastard. You. <laughs> Can't really get it. No such thing as corn.
New Johnston egg for all of this anyway. I can see port and things down there so that's the next obvious part to, to come off. I think I'll take this little hosing off the top. A gland there, a packing gland. That's a, a follower. fairly painless this all needs to be set up obviously when it goes back together so I need to know how many turns that nut is off the end of its thread basically touching the end of the thread there so A brass nut as well, or a bronze nut. It's all real quality stuff. This so that's then you got the ah, something's happening now, right? So that moves. I don't think it'll move much this to that's moving in there. I think it's off with this top holder next. Right, I need to take that gland off there. a little bit with some fine emery tape a quick a bit of pitting on there what's been stopped with coming off that off that bit comes off mm, there's been water in there right we 
change the valves. Oh, look at that. That's absolutely gorgeous, that. Little spool valve. And there's little ports in there. I think that's part of the part of the cast and I don't think that bit comes out but there again it might come out it, 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 it does or it has come out I'm not going to take it out no need to there's just a little bit of not even corrosion in there right so this just one's washing off washing off cleaning up and putting back together But that really is a bit of a bit of nice gear that must have cost a fortune to build this absolute fortune I'll take it to work and put it in the parts washer and then go from there you see the various steam ports in there that bit probably does come out but I'm not going to take it out there's no need to Leave it where it is. There's actually a ring round there. Yeah, the steam goes round that ring. It really is. Yeah. Nicely made. Take this out to the end. Bash that thing. I think that's just an access point where they've been machining. Lines will come off there as well. A little bit of little bit of crud in there, but nothing, nothing horrible. So this just one's cleaning up and putting back together again. Steam control valve. Or the actual governor or whatever you want to call it. Definitely made a brass, I'll probably polish that up or take the paint off it anyway. Take these joints off and make some new ones. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> 